Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to create this torus vertical dished end using AutoCAD. This example we would be drawing a 200 uh, knocker radius, 20 thick, 2 meters ID, 2 meters uh, crown radius and 30 millimeters straight fringe length. The input for our torus vertical heads are given here. The equations are also given here. So we have a inside diameter of the dish as two meters, which is the, the diameter of the shell or the pipe, uh, whichever it's the case. So we go back to the AutoCAD. The first thing we need to do is draw a vertical line. Please select the right layer. In this case, I would just select a new pipe just to give it a different color. Now draw a vertical line. To make the line orthogonal, press F8 and then type in 2 meters. Once you got the first line, then press right click, enter, and now we got a vertical line. The next thing to do is to draw a circle. Select a circle where you could select the center and the radius. So our center would be here, and then our radius would be. At the end of the line okay so we got the circle now we need to draw another line which would be two meters as well for now just draw it anywhere and put it as two meters and right click enter or press escape whichever is easier for you guys then we need to move this by pressing a move selecting this right clicking and then selecting the center of this and bringing the center to the center to the end point of this vertical line. So we got this ready there. Now we need to draw two straight lines, one here, okay, and repeat the same line comment and draw another one up here, okay. Now we need to fillet this uh, intersection of these two lines. To do that, you need to select fillet and then type in R to select the radius and the radius in our example would be the knocker radius in which case would be ID divided by 200 and don't forget our crown radius is equal to the ID in this example so with what we need to do we select the radius and then we need to select two points so first enter so that that's selected there to just to make sure that I've done the right thing, I will do this again. So you select the fillet and then type in R and then type in 200, then enter and then select first line, select the second line. Okay, this fillet is complete. Repeat the same process here. Select these two lines, fillet is complete. And now we need to get rid of all these extra things that we've drawn to create this. For that, just delete them just like that and now we need to trim this circle and in order to trim that circle so click the trim button then right click on your mouse this is important right click on the mouse first by not selecting anything and now left click on this you can see that's gone now you can zoom in looks good now we need to draw the straight flange length by selecting a line then we need to get back to the, our inputs and the straight flange line is 1.5 times the thickness in this case would be 30 millimeters so we need to go 30 millimeter down and type in 30 and we come across we select this we select this point and then we connect the two points and we finish that off now we need to put the thickness go back to the inputs and you can see the thickness is 20 millimeter in this example what we need to do is to select the offset which is in here or you can just type offset and then we need to select the thickness by typing 20 pressing enter now selecting the lines first this for the straight flange then this knocker radius crown radius repeat the here and here so we got now drawn the transferical head 
and now we can dimension it and double check that we what we have done is correct so we go to another layer called dimensions and here we can go just to annotate, annotate go with this crazy dimension and select here it gives already 2000 uh, millimeter radius and then we can zoom in and select here and that's a straight flange length and we want also knocker radius so we go here and we can just select it this side knocker radius 200 inside diameter also maybe it's sometimes useful which is also two meters and now last but not least the height uh, there's an equation that I calculated already the height by using this equation ID times 0.194 times thread flange length sorry this is not times this should be plus actually and then plus the thickness so if you add that up this is the equation and this is the value we should get to double check again I will save this file Excel file as well as the AutoCAD file into the cloud and you can download it from the description of this video but let's continue with the height now what we need to do is to select the bottom okay with midpoint and the top and just press it here and you can see the height is 438 and here it is 438 so I got exactly the same height one thing I was about to forget was the thickness so we, we select the midpoint and we select this and here is our thickness let's move them around a bit so that it look better so we got the thickness we got the crown radius we got the height we got inside diameter we got the straight flange length and we got the crown radius so this is how you draw a spherical head using AutoCAD you can use the same method with any other 2D software I hope this video was useful if you want to learn how to make ellipsoidal 2 to 1 uh, head as well this this head you can watch my other tutorials and I got lots of other tutorials on AutoCAD please feel free to watch them and I hope you have a nice day and as always thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video